Hello there, and welcome to another informative video from Wondershirt Dr. Phone. I am Francisco, and today we're going to have another video. So today we're going to discuss how to fix the iPhone call failed issue. This issue has been a common occurrence on iPhones after the iOS 16 update. So we will focus on some common fixes to resolve this issue and talk about a special tool that can resolve most iOS issues. So before we get to our main topic of how to fix call failed on iPhone, do remember to subscribe to our channel. Also hit the bell icon to receive future updates. Now let's dive right in. Part 1. Common ways to fix iPhone can't make or receive calls after iOS 16 update. While call failed iPhone can be a frustrating issue, luckily it is not hard to fix. It is not uncommon to encounter glitches after a software update. The good news is that there are several easy fixes that you can try before reaching out to Apple support. Now let's go through some of the common ways to get your calls working smoothly again. Fix number one, restart the iPhone. All right, let's start with a very classic troubleshooting step, restarting your iPhone. It might seem too simple, but you would be surprised how often it does the trick. A good old restart can actually refresh your device and clear out any temporary bugs that might be causing the calling issue after iOS 16 update. So here's what you can do to restart your iPhone. First, navigate to your iPhone settings and then tap on the general tab. In the general tab, scroll down to the bottom and then select shut down from there. It will take you to the power slider screen, which you need to slide to the right in order to turn off your device. After waiting for just a few moments, long press the side button again to turn your iPhone back on and then you should be back in action. Fix number two, force restart the iPhone. If a regular restart didn't do the trick, a force restart might actually help resolve the issue. This method can be particularly effective when your iPhone is unresponsive or frozen. So force rebooting of your device helps flush out all temporary bugs and glitches created after iOS 16.2 update while also resetting all processes. So the steps that you need to follow to force restart your device are actually going to be quite simple and the following. On your phone, just start by quickly pressing and releasing the volume up button, follow it by pressing and immediately releasing the volume down button, and then press Press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo to force restart your device. Fix number three, turn data off and on. Sometimes the issue really lies with your cellular data connection. So when you use your phone for calls, it relies on your cellular data connection to establish a connection with the network. So by toggling the data off and on, you can refresh the connection and potentially fix the calling problem created after Apple iPhone iOS 16 update. So here's going to be how you can turn the data on and off to resolve this issue on your iPhone. Just swipe downward from the top right corner of your iPhone to open the control center. Here, toggle off the mobile data by clicking on its icon. After a while, just tap the icon again to turn on mobile data from there. Fix number four is going to be to turn Wi-Fi off and on. Another troubleshooting step is to toggle your Wi-Fi off and on. So this can help reset any Wi-Fi related settings that might be causing the issue. Your iPhone is designed to prioritize Wi-Fi networks over cellular data whenever possible. It means that if your iPhone detects a Wi-Fi network, it may attempt to route your calls through that network. How you can toggle on and off Wi-Fi on your iPhone. First, access the iPhone settings and tap Wi-Fi on the following screen. First, toggle off the Wi-Fi option and then turn it back on after a little while. Now check if the issue has been resolved. Fix number five, reset network settings. If the previous fixes didn't quite do the trick, don't worry. We still have a few tricks up our sleeve. Now, resetting network settings can often resolve connectivity-related problems, including issues with making or receiving calls. However, keep in mind that this will remove all saved Wi-Fi passwords, VPN settings, and other network-related configurations. So use the following steps to reset your iPhone's network settings. First, launch your iPhone settings and then access the General tab. Here, scroll downward to find and select Transfer or Reset iPhone. On the following screen, press Reset. After pressing Reset, choose Reset Network Settings. Now follow the on-screen instructions to restart your iPhone from there. Fix number six, check the SIM. So sometimes a loose or improperly inserted SIM card can also cause call related issues. It's worth taking a moment to ensure that your SIM card is properly seated in its tray. There can also be any damage or debris affecting its functionality. You will need to use the officially provided pin to open the SIM tray and then check if the issue still lies here. 
make sure to clean the tray and check the SIM card for any kind of damage. Part 2. The best and fastest way to fix iPhone can't make or receive calls after iOS 16 update. So are you tired at this point of just trying different fixes but being nowhere near fixing the actual issue? Well, if you want to fix call failed issues after iOS 16 update and other similar issues with ease, then you should go for one shirt doctor phone. It is a comprehensive iOS system repair tool that can fix over 150 iOS issues in minutes. Moreover, you can also use this tool to fix iPhone problems such as iPhone being stuck in recovery mode, frozen iPhone, failed iPhone calls, and etc. The process of fixing complex iOS issues with OneShirt Doctor Phone is extremely easy and quick. You do not need to have any types of skills to use this tool. Given below are going to be the steps to fix all iOS system issues, including iPhone call failed problems with Doctor Phone. So let's get started with fixing your iOS device using OneShirt Doctor Phone. First, launch the Doctor Phone software on your computer. Next, navigate to the toolbox section and click on System Repair. Now use your original lightning cable to connect your iOS device to your computer. Afterward, click iPhone to proceed further from here. Then in Doctor Phone, just select iOS Repair to proceed. You'll be presented with two modes, Standard Repair and Advanced Repair. To minimize the risk of data loss, you are recommended to start with Standard Repair. Don't worry, you can always try the advanced repair if needed or if things just end up not working out for you. Then follow the on-screen instructions provided by Dr. Phone in order to enable recovery mode on your iOS device. With your iOS device in recovery mode, Dr. Phone will automatically detect the model of your device. It will then display a list of available firmware versions. So just take a moment to review the options and then click on the download button to obtain the appropriate firmware for your specific device. Once your firmware download is finally complete, just go ahead and click Repair Now in Dr. Phone to initiate the process of resolving all iOS system issues. Part 3 is just going to be a bonus tip. Back up your iPhone before updating to iOS 16. If you were hesitating to update your iPhone to iOS 16 due to many issues, we hope that your worries have now been lessened. However, before you update your iPhone's OS to iOS 16.2, remember to back up your device in case something goes wrong. Given the importance of data stored in your device, a backup isn't really an option. It is going to be a must. So to help you out and make it easier to backup your device, Wonderful Doctor Phone actually provides support for automatic backups of your device. You can schedule a specific time for your auto backup, and each day your device will be automatically backed up onto your computer. The backup process occurs in the background and wirelessly, so there should be no issues and it should not get in the way of your daily operations whatsoever. And with that, today's video has reached its end. So thank you so much for watching, and we do hope that you were able to fix the call failed issue after iOS 16 update on your iPhone. If you liked our video, please make sure to show your appreciation by giving us a thumbs up and sharing your feedback in the comment section. So before ending the video, do remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive updates about future videos just like this. Now, until next time, enjoy.